Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Miguel here, and today uh, this video is going to focus on supplements. Uh, so the supplements that I take, uh, why I take them, uh, where you can get them from, and uh, in general just a discussion about supplements in athletics. Uh, but this can also uh, work in relation to any sport really. Um, there's a lot of the points I'll cover, they sort of work for all sports in general, uh, specifically in the UK, but in general they'd work worldwide as well. So uh, yeah, Lee. I want to talk about the fact that nutrition is the most important part when it comes to uh, keeping your body in shape. Um, not necessarily, you know, supplements are going to be the core driver of, you know, you being in the right shape or the right position, uh, right form uh, to tackle sessions or competitions, stuff like that. So, um, you know, don't take uh, supplements as this is going to solve all my problems. If you're eating a load of crap, you're going to run like crap. So um, if, if, if that's a problem, then solve nutrition and then use these as they are supplements to supplement your uh, performance and your general uh, performance in training. So with that said, uh, yeah, let's get on. Yeah, the first uh, supplement that I take every day uh, is uh, Wellman uh, tablets. This specifically is a Wellman sport uh, variant. I don't think it matters all that much. I've also taken over here uh, the Wellman variant. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have a Wellteen. Uh, when I was sort of growing, when I was a teenager, I did take the well teen. Um, <laughs> my mum was convinced that that's the reason I'm tall today. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think that's necessarily the case. A um, whole bunch of vitamins. So generally, when you're eating and you're eating, making your meal plans, you find that uh, you're not generally, apart from vegetables, you're not really getting all the vitamins covered, maybe to the extent that you might want to. So this is just a good way of covering all bases, essentially. A um, lot of vitamin A. Uh, for me, I take it so that I get some iron uh, supplement as well. Um, I, don't, I, I can get anemic from time to time. Um, so I like to like to have a bit of iron support. Uh, but generally, it just covers all bases, and it's a, it's a good general supplement. Uh, you, I don't think you'll necessarily feel that much different, but you know, it's, it's a safe way of covering all bases. And uh, when, when I take it, I tend to feel just a bit more upbeat, vibrant and uh, healthier. So yeah, it's just, a, it's just in, as I said, a good way to, um, uh, to cover all vitamins. So yeah. I'd also like to say um, that uh, all the supplements I use in here are uh, approved by the UKAD, which is the anti-doping agency. Uh, it will depend, de well, varying on your sport, but also your governing body as to how they work with it. Um, of course, I do athletics. I'm a 110 hurdler, if you didn't know. So uh, my stuff, my, all my supplements, everything I do, everything I eat has to be uh, allowed and uh, not part of the drug bans because the last thing you want to do is to uh, have the best season of your life and then find out that this one supplement, because it happens all the time to a lot of athletes, um, whether they're making excuses or not about it, I don't know, but um, it happens a lot where people are taking supplements that they did not know were banned. So um, everything I'm showing in this video is allowed. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll also leave a link to the, uh, if you're British, the UKAD anti doping agency website that will just basically, uh, show you all the supplements and what's allowed, what's not. Uh, and also it will generally work for other people, but I do recommend trying to find, if you're American, for example, find the American anti doping, uh, laws and et cetera, et cetera, for your governing body, uh, of your sport. Uh, with that being said, this is my second supplement. Uh, it the assist so science and sport. I do want to say first and foremost, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies um, as much as I would love to be. Uh, but uh, yeah, so assist, um, isotonic energy, energy sachets. Uh, these are really good uh, when you know you have a heavy training session uh, or for me uh, before a race. Uh, I remember doing a decathlon and this really helped me sort of get through it. It's basically just energy. It's it's pure carbohydrates. Um, uh, they're all flavored, so that's kind of cool. You've got like black currant, uh, lemon, lime, that sort of thing. Um, the problem is that with these is that they, I actually got these from Costco, um, but obviously I'll leave an online link for that uh, in the description. But um, the problem is you, you, you do only get one flavor of each, uh, one of each flavor. So the problem is you get, you get to, you, have all the the ones you like the good flavors and then you're stuck with uh, four of the sort of uh, less distasteful ones but um in general they're not they're not all that bad um and it's just a good energy source you know you're looking to for example if you have heats in the in the morning or finals uh later in the evening you want something in between you don't necessarily want to feel full so uh yeah it's 
perfect for that. Okay, so for the third one, we're talking about creatine monohydrate. Uh, creatine is, of course, one of those supplements that is well known uh, for all the people who love the gym. Um, very stereotypical with that. Uh, creatine is basically that uh, supplement that helps sort of help to drive the extra, extra bit further. So if you're having a really heavy um, session and you're you're really struggling towards the end, this is sort of the supplement that gets you going for that last rep, that last set that pushes you that just that edge further. Um, when I first started taking this, there was a lot of uh, sort of bad advice per se that the internet gives out, uh, and a few people who uh, sort of misuse the supplement. Uh, some people take like 10 grams like four times a day it's not necessary um realistically uh, i take it well i take it five grams per day five grams a day is enough to be honest um if you have it if you know you have a heavy block coming up training or something or a uh, competition and uh, in a few days time one five gram scoop in the morning one five gram scoop in the evening that's good basically just glass Five grams in, a little bit of water, because this isn't the tastiest thing in the world. Um, this one's lemon and lime flavor. Uh, I would recommend a watermelon, um, but to be honest with you, regardless of what it is, it tastes like like shit. It's not great. Um, so basically, you want to shot it. You want to put a little bit of uh, powder in, a bit of water in, and then go glug, 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 straight down the hatch. Um, you don't want to. You don't really want to spend time tasting this. Uh, but yeah, it's all batch tested. From my protein is where I get them from. You can get it from other places so long as they are batch tested. Um, and uh, yeah, creatine one hydro. And of course, finally, for my fourth supplement uh, and last supplement, uh, as you can probably guess, is whey protein. So um, protein is uh, one of the essential uh, elements of the three. You know, protein, carbs, fat. Protein is one of the most important because it helps you rebuild the muscle. Uh, and also helps with the recovery, stuff like that. Um, realistically, what you want to be doing is having, um, you know, regularly every three, four hours, you know, 20, 30 grams of protein, depending on your event, of course. But um, when you do a power-based event like like mine, um, you want to be having protein uh, pretty consistently, you know, throughout the day. And this is sort of a way of having protein without having to cook up an entire meal. Um, so it's brilliant in that respect. All you need really is one scoop. Uh, some people put in like three scoops of protein. It's not necessary, again, like um, don't abuse it, you know, it's not gonna make you heavier. Your body can only uh, assimilate so much protein uh, every few hours anyway, so there's no point going and, you know, like basically drowning yourself in whey protein that's not even gonna be uh, processed by the body. Um, so I do what I do is I put in one scoop, and I do it in different ways as well. I've got them flavored here. I used to have strawberry cream, it was quite good, some flavors can be quite sickly. Uh, that's the one thing you want to avoid. So if you do have mates who you know uh, try this out, then um, you know ask them what flavors best. Uh, maybe try some of theirs. You know, borrow a bit. I've heard chocolate is really good, so that's a good one. Uh, but I will show, make another video showing how I do my protein shakes because I do it a little differently. Sometimes I do it in the blender. Sometimes I do it like a little smoothie thing. Uh, so I'll, we'll do that in another video. But uh, yeah, protein uh, is is basically my final fourth supplement. And, yeah, that's it. To generally uh, cap that all off, um, you don't really need all that many supplements uh, when you're doing sport. I think a lot of people are looking for the extra edge, something that pushes them further. And yeah, supplements are great for doing that, but at the end of the day, you don't want to be taking every bloody thing on the planet. It just seems, it is a bit ridiculous, a bit overkill. The best way uh, for you to uh, function well and uh, perform well in training and in competition is to eat well, um, look after yourself, sleep and train hard because at the end of the day if you do all those four and you supplement them all of those four with the supplements i've just covered you're pretty much good to go you know you don't really need to have much more than that uh, especially in athletics i think most people will be doing taking the kind of fit, uh, stuff that i take some people take other other stuff uh, i know a lot of middle distance runners they take a bunch of other stuff which um which helps them uh, with their endurance sessions a bit of quicker recovery stuff like that um but of course, if you, if you if you want to take a supplement, just look it up on the, uh, make sure it's not banned um, uh, so that you don't get pinged for, you know, taking something you didn't even know was uh, batch tested. So uh, yeah, that's all guys. Uh, it's just the four supplements for me, creatine, protein, Wellman tablets, and uh, isotonic energy sachets. 
so if you did like the video guys please do leave a like we would appreciate it leave a comment you know what, what supplements do you guys take um we can have an active discussion uh hit that subscribe button for more and uh hopefully i can roll out a protein smoothie video thing uh in the future or maybe a nutrition talk uh so yeah cheers guys peace